the last layer of the onion is a piece that people don't like to talk about as much, but it is around the governance. And, and the way I think about Office 365 governance is it's a wrapper around the entire onion. Uh, the first piece of this is documentation and change management. So it's about configuration management. Uh, what changes are being made in our tenant? Who's making that change in our tenant? How are they being made? And how will this affect security? Uh, configuration management is a mandate in NIST 800-171. Second piece is really about data classification and security. And it's about how we label data, how we classify, how we identify uh, what data is CUI, uh, or it's just intellectual property, how we manage that and control it. Things like retention policies, data loss prevention, or applying an Azure information protection policy as a way to automatically encrypt it. Uh, the third piece of that really is the uh, Microsoft Cloud Access Security, and that is about how we manage data in and out of our tenant. Unfortunately today, it's not in GCC High, uh, but it is there and it's coming by the end of the year. The third piece of this is around e-discovery. Uh, and this really is a governor's control in my mind because it's not really security related, uh, but it's still very important and there are a lot of organizations that have this e-discovery uh, requirement. For today, just know that it's baked into Office 365. Uh, it's fairly robust, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. Really, the last component of that fourth layer uh, around governance is really around micro is the Cloud Access Security or Microsoft Cloud Access Security or MCAS, MCAS. It's not in GCC High yet, but it is coming. Uh, MCAS is hugely powerful. Uh, it can read all of your logs real time. Uh, and now we, it's in preview, we actually have a proxy where we can actually filter, uh, manipulate, and shape all traffic in and out of our tenant. So it's coming, it's on the horizon. It'll be here soon in GCC High. Um, and we'll have a, a proxy by the end of the year. And this is great because we can do things like based on the content of the document or label the document, we can automatically encrypt content, for example, or apply permissions, or break inheritance of permissions. Or if we see a user upload 500 CUI docs in a row, for example, we can just automatically suspend the user account. So, a lot of control. The upside to this is one pane of glass in the future, we're gonna be able to manage all of the transactions in and out of our cloud. Of course, the downside to this is from a single pane of glass, we're gonna be able to manage everything in our cloud environment. So uh, we're gonna have to do a lot of planning, training, and uh, design on this. So anyway, I just wanna say thanks for uh, hanging out with me today on the beach here at Sharky's. Uh, if you're ever in Panama City Beach, come hang out at Sharky's. If you're here, I would love to get you on video. Come down, let's talk about what your company's doing or your organization's doing. I would love to get you down here and chat. And uh, lunch is on me.